And we start off with some breaking news this morning out of Manoa, where police are investigating a possible arson case. Dallas Ontiveros joins us now live with more details. Dallas, what can you tell us? Good morning, Christine and Ross. Well, details are still developing at this point. We reached out to HPD and also HFD for comment. Unfortunately, at this time, they're not able to respond. We hope to get information from them later on today. However, we do have the resident who does live this home. This is J.R. Robinson. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So, I'm, we're sorry on what happened this morning, but we just want to know what happened. What did you see? Yeah, um, I, my family and I were, uh, we woke up at uh, around 3 o'clock in the morning with just a loud bang. And uh, I didn't know what it was. We jumped out and ran out the front door and saw the back of my truck was on fire, fully engulfed in flames. And um, called fire department, police department, who came very quickly. Um, went back to our nest cam footage, and we saw a car parked right in front, of, right in front of our house here. A guy got out wearing a gray hoodie, poured accelerant in the back of the truck, and lit it. And it went up in a big, uh, a big uh, burst of flames, and and. It actually was weird. It took about 45 minutes before we heard the bang, so it was, it was lit a while before we actually were alerted to it. So um, now we're just hoping they can catch the guy. We understand there was another similar incident somewhere else in Honolulu tonight, so maybe they're related, but we have no idea. I don't have any personal beef with anybody or anything, but we're, um, we're hoping they can catch the guy who did it because it's pretty scary. My whole family's here and you know, could have caught the house on fire, so uh, yeah, kind of upsetting. So you said on the camera you saw a man in a gray hoodie. Do you know what kind of vehicle he was driving? Um, from the video, it looked like it was like some sort of a crossover SUV. It looked a little bit like a station wagon. Um, what we're hoping, uh, and he was driving from Manoa into the, you know, towards town. Um, so we don't know where he's coming from, but um, we're hoping maybe neighbors have some video too that maybe caught the license plate. So anybody further up the valley, maybe or one of our neighbors over there, we're hoping maybe somebody has some uh, nest cam footage or something. But yeah, I didn't. I couldn't even make out what kind of a vehicle it was. It was dark and it was kind of. It, but it didn't look like a vehicle. It didn't look, it looked like a crossover, like station wagon SUV type. I don't know. So this pickup truck right here was anything destroyed besides the back end? Anything inside? Well, taken I, I, from I, the vehicle? I, I, no, I think anything was taken. But uh, I play lacrosse, and all my lacrosse gear was in the back, so it's kind of a bummer. But but um, yeah, there's damage to the fence. The, the car is totaled. There's uh, the house was kind of burned too. There's the, the paint's all bubbling on the house. So I mean we consider ourselves lucky because it could have been a lot worse with everybody sleeping at home in the middle of the night. So, you know, not too cool that somebody would do that and put a family in danger. But mm -hmm. um but all in all everybody's safe. The, the truck is obviously gone. But uh, HFD or HPD wasn't able to speak with us, but did they mention any next step that they're gonna be looking into when you could get an answer? No, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um but yeah they're they're very good with us. They took statements and, and everything. Um, they'll do what they do. Um, I guess the only other thing, the only other thing I'd add is that it, uh, when the guy lit it and there was like a big flash and he was standing right there. So, you know, it's possible that maybe he got burned in it too, and maybe you know maybe he had to check in a hospital or something. I don't know. There's the the, the um, explosion was such that it was so bright that we could we never even saw him. The footage doesn't even show him getting in the car and driving away. We never saw what happened after, but it looked like it was a pretty big explosion when he lit it. So. You know, maybe maybe they'll he'll turn up somewhere that way. I don't know. Was it able to catch him throwing something at the back end of the truck no, from the pickup? Shows him like he had a, a, like a a container, a, a plastic container that he's pouring pouring it on, mm -hmm. and and that was it. I, I, I guess he lit it from below or something. You can't really tell from the footage. Okay. Well, we're wishing the best for you in this situation. Hopefully, this person gets caught, and hopefully, there's nothing like this that happens in the neighborhood. Thank you so much for speaking with us.